one of the moms goes, what? She never makes this many mistakes. What's going on? My dad's like, I think she's nervous. <laughs> that was for sure one of my craziest stories. And we are continuing the, my first, why do I keep saying the? Oh my God, there is no the. Here, 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 here. Take three. What's up penguins? Welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel and today we are continuing my first national championships bar routine. If you like this video make sure to hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button for notifications on the next video. Last video was vault and this time is going to be bars. My first national championships was in 2005 and I was 11 years old turning 12. <laughs> This was in British Columbia, Canada. I was a high performance novice. I don't know what level that is in the JO system, but again, you can watch my routines and kind of like tell me what level I was. I think that would be a good idea because I would love to know what level I was in the JO system. Story time. My first bar routine at Canadian National Championships was a disaster. Oh my God, just spat. Oh my gosh. At my first national championships, we were warming up, put my grips down, have my gym bag down, kind of like the usual. I go get my grips. All of a sudden, my grips are not there. Like my grips are gone. I have no idea what happened to them. I think someone tried to sabotage me. That just could be my thinking though. I looked inside my grip bag. There were two left-handed grips. One was a size medium and one was a size large. I always have extra pairs of grips in my grip bag, but no one told me that someone would steal the same right hand, right hand, and left hand, left hand. Like no one told me that. I was left with two left-handed grips, medium and a large. But what did little Peng do? Little Peng was terrified to tell her coach. So I was like, okay, we're just not gonna tell the coach because I didn't want to get in trouble. For some reason, I felt like if I told the coaches that my grips were gone, it would be my responsibility that my grips are gone. Like it was my fault that they were stolen. Still to this day, I have no idea where, like what happened to my grips. I ended up competing with two left-handed grips in two different sizes. So fun. And you're gonna see what happened in this bar routine because it was a complete disaster. Yeah, I think we should just watch it. But again, national championships, there was day one bars and day two bars. So you guys will get to see what happened on day one and then what happens on day two. <laughs> day one is the qualifying meet and then day two is like the all around championship meet. But you're, you're just gonna just, just watch. Oh, here we go. God, this was tragic. I am so, so tiny. Look, I am just, I'm just not confident right away. I don't even make the hit me, you're, you're, mm. Yeah, I think the first thought that was going in my mind were these are not my grips. I think I wetted them way too much. Like in that free hip circle, I was slipping so hard that I like could, it was so scared to hit the handstand. And I'm like, we're just gonna hope for the best and <laughs> just go for it. And then on that transition, I think you see my little froggy position. Yeah, it was not pretty, not pretty. God, I am so small. There is like this much space above my head. Oh, my coach is giving me some stern messages. I have no idea what he's saying. I think he said, start again, calm down. You're gonna have to redo the skills. Just do what you do in practice. Oh, pick the wedgie there. <laughs> I'm like really restarting. Didn't care if they were gonna deduct me on the wedgie picking. Oh my God, I was so nervous for this bar routine, I remember. Oh, that was nice. Oh, here we go, here we go. All the way up to the bar. Nice handstand. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember hitting the bar and just like, I kind of just wanted the bar routine to be over. To be honest, that was a really bad bar routine. And I still had the rest of my routine to go. And I just, I wanted it to be done so. I was just so focused on my grips that I had two wrong hands and wrong sizes that I, there was really nothing helping me with that bar routine in that moment. See if my dad commented, because normally he does. <laughs> Do you hear that? I think you. Wait, we gotta replay that. One of the moms is like, she never makes that many mistakes. What's going on? She never makes that many mistakes. I think she's nervous. She's, nervous. she's a little girl. She's a little girl. She's not the pressure. <laughs> oh my gosh, the parents are having like their whole conversation without me. I didn't even know this. This is funny. It's the pressure of an 11 year old at her first national championships. That's what's going on with stolen grips. Let's see what I do at the end of the routine. Oh, at least they're cheering me on. All right, I don't even remember the rest of my routine. 
Oh, I was so, so scared. I think I was really scared to slip off. Like at any point in time. Have you ever had that in a bar routine where you just feel like you're a slip? How small that mat is. My landing mat is so tiny. Uh, oh. Wow. <laughs> my, my dad goes, wow. <laughs> Classic. I love watching those routines. This is funny. I, at least I did a nice little ninja roll out of it. Like, do I get extra points for that or what? Because I thought it was pretty dope. <laughs> All right, so after that bar routine, my coach was pretty upset. They were kind of like, what? happened to you. That bar routine was pretty decently like consistent, I would say. Fell on the first skill. I hit my heels, fell on the landing. I told the coach after and said, I don't know what happened. Like I had two left hand grips and I had one size medium, one size large. And then my coach was like, oh my God, like why didn't you tell me? And I'm like, I was so scared. Then I borrowed my teammates grips because again, we have no idea to this day where my grips went. And the second day went way smoother. So we'll see what happens the second day. Different angle, different angle. Oh, I felt so much, like, look, I'm already jumping to the bar just so much more confidently because I knew I had the right grips. Oh, nice one. Yo, I am like so, I'm just so small that everything is so far away from the bar. Oh, so much better, oh my gosh. It's like a whole new person up there on bars. Let's see what happened. I'm so archy. I'm like a very archy gymnast, I'm realizing. I'm like nowhere near that low bar too. Alright, let's see what I do on this low bar. Oh, way better! Ah, oh, this is such a better routine. I just remember just being more confident, more comfortable because of the whole grip situation. It was just way, way, way better. Okay, let's actually see how I did. Who is that? Oh my gosh. A girl from Quebec. I don't even know what I scored. Yeah, Charlotte Mackey and Brittany Rogers were the eight girls, guys. They were Canada's like up and coming. Oh, Christina Vaculic, there I am, yay! <laughs> oh, I'm again picking my wedgie. Why do I always have to pick my wedgie? Oh, and look at those long hugs. Oh, I love Christina. Look at, oh, look at that hug, it was so cute. Oh, I came sixth. Okay, so if you saw my last video, I came sixth on vault two. So right now, currently, we're doing really well on coming sixth place. Really proud of myself after that day one to day two transition. Overall, we did a good job. Let me know in the comments below how you think I did. If you ever had a disastrous bar routine or a crazy story on bars. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button for notifications on the next video. And penguins, we will see you guys next time. Bye!